guys happy friday we are trying a new matcha spot today i've been doing my tiktok research and apparently there's a spot in echo park called la vida and i'm here now and we're about to try their matcha latte the girls are raving about it and so we're gonna see what she hitting on y'all know i do not play about my matcha i have a very particular palette for matcha lattes. So we're gonna try this matcha and see if she's a winner. For this new year, I'm going to be on a mission to find the best matcha lattes in LA. And y'all are going to be here for the journey, okay? So, so far, we love Highly Likely Cafe's matcha. We love Alfred T. Room. Not just any Alfred. Alfred T. Room. We only fuck with Alfred T. Room Matcha, okay? Um, we like Boba Guys for a more generic chain restaurant or chain cafe situation. Um, but so far, those are my top three. So let's see if we can add La Vida to the list. All right, girls. So first and foremost, this matcha latte was $8.50. And I think it's because I got the cold foam situation added on top um i don't know why i did that because they told me that the cold foam is dairy but like my latte has oat milk in it so now i'm a little bit nervous but we're gonna taste this motherfucking nine dollar latte and see if it's even worth the hype if it's not worth the hype that's gonna be a good thing for me because i will not be spending nine dollars on a latte again uh the presentation is cute but uh let's see what she's hitting on Yikes. I'm nervous. I'm I never got like cold foam cream. Like that's like a Starbucks thing and I was just like never really with that. But let's see. It's not terrible. But um, highly likely this is better to me. Highly likely it just tastes like more of like that homemade goodness i'm not mad at it but i've had better so there's that she's not on my top list mm -mm. she'll probably be like in my top eight but not in my top three or top four so there's that on the vita and my nine dollar uh latte this morning we're off to find a coffee shop to work remotely from because i'm getting sick of working from home um and i just like to be around people in spaces working remotely so that's how i'm feeling cheers to my non-dollar latte that i don't really like if you're watching this on a friday i hope your friday is going better than mine and i will holla at y'all later cheers hey girlies happy monday we are inching closer to the move this past weekend i was supposed to pack but i did not pack because i was on deadline for campaigns that i have to submit today and tomorrow um so i definitely will um go to the store and pick up some boxes and start my packing midweek this week i decided to like do my face today lately i've been really feeling the whole clean girl aesthetic i know we're tired of hearing the term but like truly that shit came from us not the white girls, so don't let them TikTok girlies tell you shit. The face is definitely giving clean girl aesthetic. I have to give you guys the deets, especially on this lippy. So the deets on this lippy for my clean girl aesthetic look, I need to share with y'all because it's literally so perfect for my complexion. I'm wearing the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Y'all know, true OG. This goes with everything for us color girls. Um, and then I'm actually just like so surprised by this Giorgio Armani Lip Power Lipstick. Look, I love my makeup right but like i also don't care for like the luxury makeup like the dior's the chanel beauty like the armani beauty but when i try this i might have to reconsider because the luxury makeup brands actually do be having some like hidden gems and the reason why i say i don't really care for them is just because i know that i can go to the beauty supply store and like find a really really good dupe or i could just use something more like a Too Faced or like a anastasia beverly hills you know like that's just like my theory on makeup because i'm still beat my face you know what i'm saying but this lip power lipstick in the shade um 201 y'all this right here paired with your mac chestnut liner i mean i feel like my lips are saying it all like come on it's given neutral but not too muted and not too brown just enough color where it just makes my lips look like 
my natural lip color, which I really, really love. For the fit, I have on my Aritzia quarter zip here uh, with my Aritzia turtleneck. And I got these cargos thrifted from the Melrose Trading Post like last year. Um, and I'm wearing my Doc Martin. Lately, I've been finding a way to wear my Docs with like every outfit. Like absolutely yes. Love them. I don't know, it's kind of giving army in a way. This is the look and I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm going to throw on my super puff. But yeah, I'm actually dressed because I'm going to go work from a cafe today. I've really been feeling like going to work from cafes as of lately. I really just need that change of scenery. Like working from home here and not having no kind of human interaction is kind of like driving me insane. Um, so yeah, and I'm all about like you never know who you're going to see. So just stay ready so you don't got to get ready. You feel me? Fragrance for the day. Um, Prada, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Parada gifted your girl. Let me get the bag. Hold on. Parada. Okay. First, I was like so hype over Maison Margiela. Parada. <laughs> Parada. They gifted me their new fragrance, which is the Prada Paradox. I think it's Paradoxy, Paradox, Parado. It's one of those three, okay? Don't don't come for me, but it's one of those. And this is like the perfect pretty girl fragrance. I'm truly not a pretty girl fragrance like fan, but the notes in this, it has notes of jasmine. When I tell y'all, when it comes to floral notes, my favorite notes are jasmine and rose. Those are like my top two. The added notes of jasmine into this just makes this scent so soft. I don't know if it's the Venus and Libra in me, but like when it comes to a candle fragrance, when it comes to any type of fragrances like I need them to be soft it can't be too sweet it can't be too fruity it can't be too floral like it can't be too woody it just has to have an added note that just like makes the entire fragrance smell soft in a way Right, girls we made it to cafe dulce i'm actually like i'm very excited to go to this matcha spot because i really need to have more than one spot that i go to for matcha i know that when i'm obsessed with something i like go ham but like i kind of want to stop that like kind of want to stop that really want to be able to have options like this is Amani's year of having options take it how you want it <laughs> also yes do I like my Louis Vuitton wallet this is a Christmas gift for my parents my parents I love my parents it would not have been me to buy myself a luxurious wallet like this but let it be my parents to like show me like girl you deserve nice things in life it's gonna be my parents that's gonna be the one starting bad habits not me okay y'all saw here first so if like a couple years from now y'all see me with the chanel bags i, I, I blame my parents but i love it it's so cute i love the print on it it's just like i love it it's super spacious i could fit so many cars in here as you can see i could fit some cash money in here and then there's also like the zip part here for um for coins just open that up beep beep she is so cute i'm gonna link below um the link to this wallet i love it i think it's like the cutest thing in the world but yeah let's go get some matcha I've got to tell the girls about her here in LA. We officially now have a new matcha spot, girls. Definitely the perfect way to start off a Monday. Cheers! Hey 
so I just got my pizza and I need I need to take a bite I need to take a bite like I have not eaten anything and <laughs> whew, I'm not playing around I gotta show y'all this pizza hold on yum all right I'm gonna take a bite I don't know if I should do the pepperoni or the naughty pie I'm gonna do the naughty pie um, I know there's a little bit of honey on the naughty pie and a bunch of other stuff but I'm just so hungry Mm-hmm. 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 It's literally 409. This should not be the first thing I'm putting in my stomach. But you know what? I was in grind mode. I had to get these um deliverables out for this campaign. I had to submit for it today. Y'all know how I feel about my Prince Street pizza. Mm. Just so good. There's this couple in a Tesla that's like driving around me because they thought I was going to leave. So they were like, are you leaving soon? I said, no. So okay, no pressure. We're going to circle around. I said, okay. They just circled around and they're looking at me and I'm like, eating my pizza. Mind your business. See, I got to get some tents. That's happening this year for sure. So I leased my car and the lease is actually up this year. So I've been thinking, do I want to like get something different? Do I want to keep the car? I think I'm going to keep my car because then my monthly payments will go down. So that's a plus. We need the bills to decrease. Like, wow, this pizza is really amazing. Like, yeah. I would say that today has been a pretty good Monday. We worked from a cafe. We went somewhere new. We tried their matcha and it was amazing. We got our favorite pizza. I will for sure say it's a 10 out of 10 Monday. What y'all think? I made it back home as you can see I just poured me a glass of vino verde um, this white wine I got from highly likely cafe in West Adams um, I am so obsessed with this wine I recently tried a vino verde I want to say maybe like two weeks ago when I went out to brunch with my friends and I was just floored like vino verdes Chenin Blancs Sauvignon Blancs Albarinos, like those are my top favorite white wines at the moment. I'm really feeling a white wine right now over red wine. And I think it's just because I haven't really fully explored the breadth and the assortment of red wines that are out there, um, but definitely working on exploring my white wines for now. What I love most about this wine is that the tannins in the wine are super balanced. So that way when it hits your palate, it's not like super sour. It doesn't like zap your mouth. It's balanced enough that you can really like savor the flavor of your wine. And I think that's what I truly, truly love about a Vino Verde. With some Sauvignon Blancs, they can be zesty as hell and super high in acidity and and it's just like whoa it's a lot going on here on the taste palette okay uh, but vino verde is have my heart right now um as i've been doing my research and just learning more about wines i'm learning that most of the vino verdes are made in portugal um so yes i have yet to come across any other region that makes a really really good vino verde so for right now cheers and shout out to portugal for holding it down with the vino verdes this wine i think is only really sold locally in california um, i can link it below for you guys in the description but most sites out there are definitely going to charge an arm and a leg for shipping but nonetheless that's enough wine and chat for now i have content to edit and to get through i'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow cheers Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, last night I slept in my makeup. Um, last night was kind of an emo night. Um, if you follow me on IG, um, 
you know here and there on my stories sometimes I just like open up and share about like my feelings and I'm like feeling lonely and just like singleness and like the whole journey um so last night was one of those nights I was feeling really emotional and that was my first time in a long time really giving in to like emotional eating when I'm like feeling away I had Reese's I was in bed and I like ordered Chick-fil-a to be delivered yeah so I got up super early this morning to try and like get a head start and just like try and reset and like just get into good vibes good feels good energy so right now it is 7 31 it's super early um and i'm actually gonna go try a new matcha spot we're gonna try alchemist coffee and alchemist coffee i think is in like mid wilshire area so like i'm super excited to just try a new matcha see if i like it i hope it makes my day i did my clean girl face i don't know i feel like doing my face as of late has really been making a girl just feel good you know i really feel like i just show up as my best self when my face is beat <laughs> i am just getting my um my bag together it's supposed to be like 60 degrees today and kind of cloudy so i'm getting the vibes that like it's officially winter now here in la so i'm trying to figure out what jacket to wear so i can like still be cozy and i'm trying to look in the mirror and see if i like how this looks with this color sweatsuit. I think this is fine. Yeah, I think this is cute with my sweatsuit. Y'all can't see. Oh, is this the sun? Okay, sun. Sunshine on me. I'm gonna let the sunshine on me. Okay, but this is how we're looking with the teddy coat and the um the sweatsuit. What do we think? Yay? Nay, I'm gonna put my docks on, but like, do we like this better? Do we like the super puff better? I also have a white super puff, but Nah, not with this color gray. What do we think? What should we like better? I don't know, the super puff just does something to me. Like, it just makes me feel like a cool fucking girl. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the super puff. Let me know in the comments. Let me go get my docs. All right, let's put these docs on. we made it to the spot i just found a park luckily oh my god like i don't think you understand parking in la is disastrous y'all i turned off this camera check my pockets for my wallet guess where my wallet is at guess where my fucking wallet is at home my wallet is home Uh, it's okay luckily i have like apple pay and shit on my phone but i need to like download the app then i guess for parking in order to pay for parking because i don't have my car i don't even know that like how to find the app like wow i can't believe i left my wallet in my other jacket Maybe I was meant to actually wear that jacket today. All right, so I downloaded the Park Mobile app. This is only for parking lots, but like, does it work for meters? Now let's hope this one work. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all, so we got the matcha. We're gonna talk about the car situation later. But for right now, just know that we got a lavender matcha and we about to purchase the tag. She's not bad. She's good. I actually like taste the lavender this time and it's not super sweet, but it's like, Good. I will definitely add this to my list of favorite matcha spots in LA. I just love that this isn't super sweet. So many matcha spots like try to like overdo it with the sweetness and it takes away from that earthy like green tea taste of matcha. But she's top tier. I like, cheers. 
Okay, y'all, parking and car update. Why? Why did I go into the parking garage thinking that by using the app, I can just like pay for it online and just like scan it when I come out? No, the lot that I went into is manual only. Luckily, I have friends and my friend lives in Mid Wilshire, so she's coming to save me and I'm gonna like pay her to like get me out of this lot. <laughs> I can't believe this. Like, I had to text my teammates, talk about some SOS. Like, unbelievable. All because I left my wallet at home. I'm taking my black ass home after this. Shout out to friends like Shanoa I'm who come trying. and save me. Like, this is insane. I was like, what? What the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck kind of life is this? I'm glad I'm not far away. I'm glad. Thank you. I love Have you. Have a great rest of the day. I love too. you too. <laughs> okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, see you Bye soon. Guys. Bye. Happy Thursday. We are headed back to Alchemist Coffee today and this time your girl got her wallet. The wallet is in the baggie. But I'm kind of cute today because after work I'm going to be headed to go get drinks with a few co-workers. So for Fit Deeds I have on my hound's tooth jacket from Target. I got this years ago. I have on this um, gray turtleneck sweater that I also got from some boutique online like years ago back in like 2019. I have on my Aritzia leather pants here and then I have on my Zara boots here. This is the look. And I feel cute. I feel like that girl. And then my fragrance for the day is the Prada Paradox. It is now 8.13 and we need to hurry up and head to this cafe because I need my matcha latte. It does not sit well in my spirit to start my workflow without my matcha. It just feels very criminal. So we just left Alchemist Coffee. Surprisingly, I did not finish my matcha, but we will. Um, and we are headed to Bluestone to go get some lunch. Just pay me cash. And if you ain't got that, just pay me mine. So I just left proper. I'm so tired. Like I have been up since 5 a.m. And I've been out ever since. Like my body is not used to like being up and out like all day. I'm like a true work from home girly. So you know what I'm about to go do? Some tired and any energy. <laughs> We're gonna go try another matcha spot but since we're in santa monica it's a new city so 
I am now officially making it my mission and my duty to go and find the best matcha here in Los Angeles. Like, I'm about to be a go-to girly for that. <laughs> so yes, this vlog clearly has included a shit ton of matcha, which I love, because that's my thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go try this matcha spot called Cult. Okay, girls, we got the matcha. Now, we're gonna put her to the test. She looks good. I will say she looks legit. Like, there is blue butterfly pea in here. There's lavender and maybe mint. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and give her a swirly swirl. It has the nice, good foam on top. Okay, I'll see the foam. Okay, y'all, for the verdict. She not bad, but she needs some sweetener. I don't know, she kind of bland. Hey y'all, so I meant to give y'all my full review on this matcha, but it's actually very cold outside and I wasn't thinking, why did I get iced and it's freezing? I'm in Santa Monica by the water. So I had to wait until I got back into a nice cozy spot to give y'all my review. But this is not bad. You just gotta add a little bit of sweetener to like make it perfect. Um, but yeah, so I went back actually and I asked them for some more um, lavender sweetener. So I added that in here and she's not bad. I would say she's definitely a strong 6.5 out of 10. It's not given 10 out of 10 for some reason, but 6.5 is what I'm gonna give her. Six point five, for sure. The reason why I'm giving it a six point five is because this was like a strong nine dollar latte, and I'm like, yeah, y'all are really pushing it. Y'all pushing it. At this rate, if I try another matcha spot, and it's upwards of eight to nine dollars, I'm really gonna start to get in the kitchen and make my own shit because I can't. I can't. Like my bank account. My bank account. hello hello guys happy monday it is officially moving week um have i packed anything no <laughs> why have i not packed anything this past weekend knowing that i'm moving this coming weekend because i shot for a giorgio armani beauty campaign and i submitted my content like actually super early for the first time and they said I needed to reshoot the whole content, the whole campaign all over again. And that was the first time I ever had to do a reshoot. And it literally took up all my time on Sunday because I had yesterday because I had to film the same day and edit the same day for them to be able to get content today. Um, on Saturday, I spent all my time editing my YouTube video because I'm so serious about trying to be more consistent like on my Sunday uploads because I know y'all been loving it. But also I'm starting to see some growth in my YouTube channel like that's the goal like to be honest, if I could be a YouTube girly and ditch Instagram and TikTok, I would do it in a heartbeat y'all. I would do it in a heartbeat like I just love YouTube so much more. We need to get to packing. Okay, so I'm trying to like be as cost effective as I can with this move. So I'm about to go do some driving around. Well, I'm going to go get matcha first because you already know how that go. Then I'm going to go driving around to Target, liquor stores, grocery stores to see if I can get some free boxes. Because why should I not be getting free boxes? Like why am I paying for cardboard? I'm not doing that. 
I'm gonna be wearing nothing but sweats this week. Y'all probably gonna see me wearing the same shit and I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Let's go get our matcha. Let's go store hopping to go find some free boxes and hopefully we get a shit ton and we can check that off the list. Let's do this shit, y'all. Let's lay the fucking dagger out. Gucci do the dishes, ain't nobody, nobody fuck with my kitchen. Stove in my blunt for me this morning. I love me some Smino. <laughs> it's my mustache, so. Pais on no more. Um, can I do the iced um, lavender matcha latte? Lavender matcha latte. Yes. Can I do that with um, oat milk? Thank you. Anything else? Um, nope. That'll be all. Thank you. Have a good one. We got our matcha latte. We got our matcha latte. It's gonna be a great fucking day. Cause we got a matcha latte. Yeah. <laughs> Just to see 